I'll call it the holiday gift that is at least this year keeps on giving. Gas prices hitting another five-year low today. The national average, two thirty-two a gallon. In New York, the average is two eighty-four according to AAA. It is two thirty-five in New Jersey and in Connecticut. It is two seventy-three. Missouri is the only state right now with gas less than two dollars gallon. At six o'clock, I believe. And I'm with Chum. Bellevue Hospital says it will know the results of that Ebola test sometime tonight. Craig Spencer is a doctor at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital. I would just report to Kimberly Richardson and Silver Tom on. I would just leave with a much good evening to you at 6 o'clock with Chuck. And I know right now we know that Rangeron has decided whether or not to indict Officer Brown, but that decision not yet announced. Yeah, here was the very latest. I'm with John. Get ready for some big headaches if you're planning to travel tomorrow for Thanksgiving. What if John watches and warns of the one in Boston? Good evening to you at 6 o'clock, I'm Liz Chow. And I believe the Commissioner of NYPD tonight says it appears the Rocky Cop accidentally fired his gun and killed a cop. Any psychologist tonight's charged with shooting her husband's again. Yes, we do. As we continue on, this is a sexual finite challenge. This is a sexual challenge. This is a sexual challenge. I'm going to be a sexual challenge. I'm going to be a sexual challenge. Good evening to you at 6 o'clock on Liz Chow. And I believe it's to win a washer's town in stable condition after an incredibly unstable afternoon. How do they end up dangling from one wall tonight? In a jewelry store heist in Midtown Manhattan with Indiana police released a Dr. Craig Spencer, the only person treated for a ball in New York City, is resuming a normal life tonight by going for a drive. Well, he still had a moment in space. For the first time ever, a spacecraft has landed on a comet. It's a false reality. 
So we all know how important sunscreen is, especially this time of the year, but now there's a new version of sunscreen that is hitting the market. It's one that you drink. It's hard to imagine, but it could still be a reality, but does it live up to the maker's claims? Dr. Shepner probably takes a look at that, plus the latest sunscreen ratings by Consumer Reports. I've used that banana boat. Protect my child, man. It's not protecting my child well enough. I know something interesting there, man. Do we really think that there's a broader way to protect you, man?